Hi families, it's Miss Ty. I wanted to let you know that this story time is for all students. So let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Hi friends, how are you doing today? What zone are you in? Well, thanks for sharing that. Can you tell what zone I'm in today? You are right. I am in the green zone because I am happy and ready to learn. Would you like to see what we're going to do today during story time? Look at this. Look at the cover of our book. Who do you see? Who do you see? I see Peppa Pig too. There she is. Look at that. Well, what do you see on the cover of our book? Is that what you see? You know what I see? I see dinosaurs. I see dinosaurs on the cover of a book. Another thing I see is I see a slide. Look at that slide. Hmm. I wonder where is Peppa Pig? Where is Peppa Pig? That might be right. Maybe Peppa Pig is at the playground. Maybe Peppa Pig is at the park. Or maybe Peppa Pig has a slide in her backyard. Would you like to open our book to get our story started to look inside? Oh wait, what was that? What did I forget to do? Thank you so much for reminding me. I forgot to look at the title. So let's look at the title of our book. The title of our book is Learning to Share. Can you touch the title of our book, please? Yeah, there it is, Learning to share. Well, you know what? I don't see an author's name. Do you see an author's name? I don't either. Let's open our book and look inside and see if we can find one. Oh, look right there. Do you see that? That says, Adapted by Meredith Rusu. Hmm, what does adapted mean? That means she's an author who helps. Meredith Rusu helped to write the book. Can you touch the author's name, please? Yes, there it is, Meredith Rusu. And what does the author do? Look at you, so smart. The author does write the words you write. All right, now we're going to open our book. Let's get our story started. Uh-oh. Let me go to the first page. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks like so much fun. Let's read and see what they're doing. One bright summer day, Peppa and her friends are all at the playground. Did you say the playground? If you guessed the playground, if that was your prediction, Raise your hand. Yes, I thought they were at the playground too. Candy Cat is on the tire swing. Pedro Puppy, a pony, is going down the slide. That's Pedro Pony right there. Peppa, Susie Sheep, and Danny Dog are on the merry-go-round. Can you spin us really fast? Peppa asked Daddy Pig. Ooh, do you like to go fast on a merry-go-round? Not me. I don't like to go fast. It makes me dizzy and then I fall down. All right, let's turn our page to keep our story going. Look at that. Ooh. Peppa's little brother, George, is at the playground, too. 
George is a bit too young for the merry-go-round. Mummy pushes him on the swing instead. Higher, George uh, says George. Oh, not too high, George, says Mummy Pig. We have some friends that like to swing high. I know, because we push you at recess. Look at that. Squeak! Squeak! Here are Rebecca Rabbit and her little brother, Richard Rabbit. They have come to play. Richard has brought his toy dinosaur. Who is this? Richard Rabbit, yes, and there's this toy dinosaur. Let's see what else they're going to do. Oh, look at that picture. Can I go on the merry-go-round too, Rebecca asked. Of course, says Daddy Pig. Hop on! Hee-hee-hee! <laughs> Rebecca laughs. Let's go really, really fast. Squeak, squeak. Richard thinks the merry-go-round looks like fun too. In fact, he wants to hop on. Ooh, he wants to hop on when they are going really, really fast. He is very brave. That's what I think. Look at that. Uh-oh, I wonder how they're feeling. I wonder what zone they're in. Let's read and find out. Oh, groans Peppa. If Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard is little, just like George. He is too young to go fast on the merry-go-round. It's okay, says Rebecca. Richard can play with George instead. No, says Richard. He wants to play with the big kids. George has a toy dinosaur just like yours. Mummy Rabbit tells Richard, let's go and see. Did they let him get on the merry-go-round? No, they didn't. Look at that. George holds up his green dinosaur. There it is. Dinosaur, he says. Richard holds up his red dinosaur. Rrrr, he growls. George and Richard both love dinosaurs. That gives Mummy Pig and Mummy Rabbit an idea. Hmm. I wonder what their idea was. Let's turn our page to keep our story going. George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? Mommy Pig asked. No, says George. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? Asked Mommy Rabbit. No says Richard. George and Richard do not want to share. They do not want to share. Look at that. Oh, oh no, what zone is he in? Yeah, that looks like the blue zone to me too. George, it will be much more fun playing together if you share, says Mommy Pig. She takes Mr. Dinosaur and gives him to Richard. Richard likes holding both dinosaurs, but George is not happy. Wah! He cries. He is sad. He is in the, the blue zone. That's right. Richard, that was really nice of George, says Mommy Rabbit. Now, let him hold the dinosaurs. She gives the dinosaurs to George. Wah! cries Richard. 
Sharing doesn't seem like much fun at all. What do you think? Do you think sharing is fun? Look at that. Let's see if they think sharing is going to be fun. George and Richard always cry when they play together. <gasps> Did you hear like that? George and Richard always cry when they play together, says Peppa. They're just too little to play nicely. Can you big girls teach them to play together, asked Mommy Rabbit. Peppa and Rebecca help George and Richard make sandcastles in the sand. <gasps> Look at that sandcastle. See, playing together is fun, says Peppa. Everything is going really well. The sharing, they're being good friends. Until, oh no, what's going to happen next? Look at that. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at Peppa. Oh no, George, I mean George. George smashes Richard's sandcastle with his shovel. Then Richard smashes George's sandcastle castle with his shovel. When they cry. Oh, look at them. Look at Richard and look at George. They are crying. They are so sad in the blue zone. Oh dear, this does not seem to be working. How can George and Richard learn to play together nicely? Hmm, says Mommy Pig. <gasps> I have an idea. Mommy Pig has an idea. Let's see what that idea is. Look at that. Look at them. What did they do? Let's read. George. What's your favorite thing in the whole playground? Mommy Pig asked. <gasps> seesaw, says George. George loves the seesaw, but he can't play on the seesaw on his own. Hmm, he needs a friend. He needs a friend to play with him. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> George and Richard have lots of fun playing together on the seesaw. They are playing together on the seesaw. They are sharing. Wow, they are sharing. Look at that. Mommy Pig's idea worked. George and Richard have learned that playing together is fun especially when they both share the fun with a friend. Look at that picture. Do you remember before they were in the blue zone? They were sad. They were crying. That was when they were not sharing. When they were not sharing, they were in the blue zone. And then they used a tool they used a different choice. What did they do? That's right. They shared. And when they shared, it helped them move to the green zone. Look at that. Because sharing is one of our tools. If we are sad and we are upset, we are in the red zone or we are in the blue zone because we are not sharing then one of the tools we can use to help us move to the green zone is we could share and we could play with a friend. Wow, I really like that story, learning to share. All right, boys and girls and friends, thank you so much for joining me for story time. I can't wait until we're together again. The next time we'll be together for story time will be for our bedtime stories. So next thing you need to do is to do your writing. So parents, we either want them to write about their opinion 
or the one where they circle the, the smiley face, the sad face, or the um, neutral face, or if you, that's for level one students, or if you are, your child is in level two or three, we would like for them to write about the characters one day, the setting one day, and then do the book title one day. All right, friends, thank you so much for all of your hard work. Parents, if you would let them go take a break, take an earn free time before they come back for writing, I would appreciate it. All right, friends, you did a great job today at story time. So the next thing I want you to do is what do you get when you do your work? You are so right. You get earned free time. But listen, after earned free time, you need to come back and your family is going to work with you on writing. First earned free time, then writing. All right, go have fun at Earn Free Time. I love you and I miss you. Thank you for joining me for story time. I'll see you later. Bye.